In this video, we're gonna start talking about email marketing using Sprout Studio. Yes, Sprout Studio can do all of your client management and your bookings and your contracts and your invoices and your galleries and your design proofs and your questionnaires and all of these things that we've been talking about so far, but Sprout Studio can also help you with your email marketing. We've built an incredible email marketing engine for you and it's very flexible and allows you to get in, make these beautiful, stunning email campaigns and then get out, put it in, on autopilot so that your business can market itself as you go. So there's a few components to email marketing that we're gonna run through in this course. And I wanna hop into Sprout and just do a quick little uh, 50,000 foot view on everything to do with email marketing. And then we're gonna have a series of videos to walk through the individual pieces. I have my uh, Sprout account here pulled up and to get into email marketing, we're gonna click the email marketing tab on the left-hand side. Now you're seeing that there's two sub sections here. One is called email campaigns, one is called email lists. The difference is that an email list is who are you sending the email to? And you can import a CSV for this, you can automatically filter your existing contacts or your existing leads or shoots or galleries for this, or you can build a sign up form to have uh, visitors on your website sign up to join an email list. So the email list itself is just a list. It's who the emails are going to go to, and you can use a list and then use it over and over and over again in the campaigns. So the campaign is what is going out. So what is the email that's going out or what is the sequence of emails that's going out and you specify a specific list to send the emails to. So let's kind of just quickly hop, um, open this and we'll just take a look. I'm gonna go add new and we're just gonna call this my test list. Just so we can do a quick tour over all of the different sections here. So the first section here is to auto add contacts to this list. So again, you can leave this at none if you just want to build a sign-up form and put it on your website so that anyone who signs up for that sign-up form joins this list, you can do it that way. Or you can automatically filter your existing contacts, your existing leads, or your existing shoots right here in Sprout Studio. So if you want to say, I want this uh, list to be any lead that is of type uh, wedding um, and the inquiry date was before, or I guess was this year. So we'll do it that way. So it was uh, this year all the way up until December 31st. There we go. So we can say uh, this email marketing list will be any leads that are wedding that inquired this year. And if I go down here into the email list section, you can see the e contacts that are gonna be added to this. So these are the different uh, people that I've got added to this. And then sign up form here is separate. That's where I was saying if you wanted to build a separate signup form to put onto your website, you can. We're gonna run through that in a separate video. But that basically is what the email list itself is. I'm gonna go ahead and just close this and get out of here. Now we're gonna go into the email campaign. An email campaign can be either a single bulk email, so that is one email that you write one time to one list or one grouping of uh, contacts, and then you press send, and it sends it. So it's kind of like an email blast or an email newsletter. You're gonna send this one time and you can't ever send it again. Of course you can duplicate it, but you can't go and edit it and can have it continue to send. It goes out one time. An email drip campaign on the other side is a series of emails. So you design this sequence of emails, this drip campaign, and you can have it go out over time and it's always this ongoing living thing. So if I open that up again, just to kind of run through this and take a look, we have, let's call this my email campaign. Uh, so again, up here under build email list, you can go custom and you can use the same filters that you had on the email list. So if you wanna just build it in here and keep it simple, you can. Or you can choose an email list from here and say we want to use that email list to uh, run this too. So then I can do that and then do all my work. Email list here would be the people that are in it. I can also, by the way, manually add folks into here. So I can search existing contacts. I can add a contact in here manually or I can import a CSV of existing contacts. And then down here is email messages and that allows me to build the sequence of emails that I want to add. So I can click add and we're gonna run through this um, in another video in more depth. 
but you can see here I can just keep adding and adding and adding, and then I can say when these emails go out and customize them. I can say this one's gonna go out one day later. This one's going to go out uh, two weeks later. So you have a lot of flexibility over how these get built, but that's the difference between email lists in Sprout, which is who the email goes to, and email campaigns in Sprout, which is what's the email that goes out. Now in the rest of these videos, we're gonna build out a very specific campaign. We're gonna build out a campaign that you can send to your clients to give your clients um, tips for planning their wedding. So let's say that you're a wedding photographer in a specific region and you wanna build a lead magnet so that your clients can sign up for that or potential clients can sign up for that and then you can drip these emails to them over time. That's what we're gonna build out together in this course.